Hi, I'm Mike, and um, I'm going to build a new set of two meter loop antennas for single sideband use. I've made uh, several versions of this in the past, and uh, I'm not completely satisfied with them. The, the ones I've made in the past were made out of copper tubing. I'm going to make this set out of aluminum, aluminum rod and aluminum tubing, uh, so that it doesn't corrode or uh, oxidize like copper wood, and it's a little harder. Anyway, I'll show you uh, my current set of loops here in just a moment so you can see what they look like. Uh, this new design is going to be completely different, but it's still the same theory. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, in the middle of the screen there you'll see my old set of 2 meter single sideband loops. And we'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see them better. These are made out of copper tubing I made several years ago. These loops were made with a support that's in the center of the loop. The new loops are going to be supported on the edge of the loop. I'll try to zoom in to one of the loops here so you can see it a little better. Anyway, you can see it's copper. There's a um, spot on my website that shows how the this antenna was built if you're interested. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Okay, I'm going to show you the materials we're going to build the antenna out of. Uh, it's very simple. I bought some one half by one half aluminum rod or square stock. That's going to be the bracket that holds the antenna radiating element. The actual radiating element is made out of one quarter inch aluminum rod. And then the, the bracket material that holds it to the mast is going to be made out of one eighth inch by one and a half inch aluminum strap and then I'm going to use these clamps to actually clamp it to the mast. I got these at a local um, metal supply. Now you can probably pick up something similar that would work just as well. In just a moment here I'll show you a prototype that I've made although it's in the shape of a dipole right now. It's not circular in, in shape yet. Okay here's the prototype antenna. It's still in the form of a dipole. It uh, works quite well. And as you'll notice, this particular antenna design is made so that the radiating element is all one solid piece. You don't have to have it split in the center like a normal dipole. Um, so this is the radiating element and it will be bent into a circle. Here's the bracket that holds the, the radiating element. This is the bracket then that holds this bracket to attach it to the U clamp that bolts onto the pole that will go up in the air. And then <clears throat> this is called a gamma tube. It's a gamma match setup. It's basically a variable capacitor and there's a little strap I made to connect one plate of this capacitor to the antenna. You'll notice that since it all is one piece and it's attached to this bracket that's attached to the mast, it's all at ground potential when it's at DC voltage or DC. This is a view from the opposite side of the antenna and I use just a normal SO239 panel mount connector so that I can plug a coax in here and it will end up coming out and then going down the, the mast. Okay here's the uh, the main bracket of the antenna right here. Here's where the two holes for the U-bolt to go through. Here's the two holes for the the antenna holding bracket's going to go. And this is where the SO239 connector is going to connect. You can see this is 1 8 inch thick aluminum strap that's uh, an inch and a half wide. And then the other two pieces that actually hold the antenna are made out of one half by one half aluminum and uh, there's some other tricks to this but anyway there's a few holes to drill and tap 
and uh, you may have to pause on this in order to get the, all the dimensions that you want if you make it the same. Okay, let's move on. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this aluminum strapping material and make the main bracket. And I'm going to go by my plans. And it has to be four and three quarter inches long. And I'm going to cut it on my radial arm saw here. It's, it's pretty loud. Use uh, hearing protection and eye protection. So let's go ahead and measure this out and get it cut. Okay, it's four and three quarter inches. I'm double checking the measurement here. Basically all I have to do is make a small mark. I don't have to mark all the way across because all I have to do is see where the leading edge of the blade touches. Another thing is uh, when you're using a radial arm saw for something like this or any wood or anything, the blade is rotating this direction and it will want to tend to pull forward so you have to hold very firmly to keep the blade from pulling through too fast. Here we go. next piece I'll cut is going to be the, the brackets that hold the antenna radiating element. Okay, for this half inch by half inch rod for these brackets, the first length has to be three inches long. Okay, the next piece has to be an inch and a half long. three pieces. Next thing I'm going to do is again, I'm going to get a file and round these edges off a little bit so they're not so sharp so that I don't cut myself on them. <laughs> 